that's probably what needed um, an hour for it to be sent through the system. I'll the porch in the night thinking how we used to be way back in time in time hello hey how you going hello what's going on hello daniel how was patty who's patty your buddy diving thing look in the lens what where am i looking Down here. i look at you because i'm speaking to you yeah, answer my question. Can you not get so close? I've got poor issues. What email did you get this morning? Got a hoax email from yourself about wiring um, $128,000 as soon as possible. Another one? Another one. You probably get about two to three a week. How often are we getting these? Uh, two to three a week. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe at least, definitely at least once a week. How do you know it's not me? Like, how do you know it's me? Well, I know it's, I know it's you because this chappy here... Um, it comes from what? Well, apparently this chappy was like, uh, Jack, I hope you're having a good day. Um, right that, that, that definitely didn't sound like yourself. And it also said... Thank you saying I wouldn't ask you if you're having uh, a good day? You, you wouldn't ask me if I'm having a good day. And it said thank you as well. I don't think I get many thank yous as well. So it's definitely a hoax email. So, so, so about four months ago, our old accountant in the business um, believe he received an email from myself requesting that he transfer X amount of money. It was in the tens of thousands of dollars. I actually did a vlog on it. And so this person transferred the money to another person. It was a phishing scam. So our accountant at the time thought he was responding to an email from me. Um, he then acted on that email without checking with me in person. And then he put this money in that person's account. Subsequently, we lost, well, it was $37,000. However, through insurance, we got it back. Um, and it was pretty tough to get it back. It's not, the money's gone, Corey. It's an insurance thing now. We both know that. The money's gone. Please don't give me the runaround. Please don't treat me like a dickhead. Um, so, Daniel, I'll say you once a month only. Please refrain from swearing at me. I really appreciate it. I'm here to help you. So, Corey, I use the word dickhead, please. Perhaps that's the second time. Oh. <laughs> so, obviously, Everybody's really aware of phishing scams within the business now, particularly the new accountant, Jack. So he's actually been getting emails from people still trying to impersonate me. So we don't really know how that's happening, but I've been having a bit of fun with it as well. So here we go. Jack's not aware of this. <laughs> so the trick is to make, make sure it doesn't sound like me. So hi, Jack. Hope you are having a great day d c hayes so that doesn't sound like me at all this beautiful grace is back i'm back did you miss me did oh, you that's... course good I loved it. I'd do it again. Oh, you are such I a nerd. It was all legislation and acts, and I loved every second of it. So how long till you're licensed? Six weeks. Oh, awesome. I'll get my approval tomorrow, uh, tomorrow that I've passed. Have you been then, crying? No, I've been out doing drops this morning, so I'm a bit sweaty. How many have you listed for the month? Um, three, and three coming. Okay. Girl, good work. Circuit, spray on it to try and rehash. I think Jack's on to me. I just received this email back from him. Dear Daniel, we only have $101 in the general account at the moment. We spent the last 3K on the drone you just purchased. Don't worry, I haven't told anyone, mate. Do you want me to transfer the $100 today? <laughs> Did you miss me on the weekend? Not really. It was nice to have some peace and quiet. When do they put the Sony up for... Um... I can't. Why not? Until the whole exterior is redone. Has he given? Has he given us any? Um, I've, I had a quote put in. So this is the problem. He don't take it, please. And like, see these things here. Yeah. Look, I thought one goes through it. You're going to kick the ones at Drysdale. It's so rotted, they're hollow. I'm pretty sure there's a first division there. Let's get a video of this screen. You ready? <laughs> ready to go. 
Oh, oh. it's a winner. Is that first Ivy? Oh, close, 55.70. Oh, that's good. Good start. <laughs> yeah. Better than nothing. Oh, that's not nice. Just the one, unfortunately. Okay, thanks, mate. So the bigger the business, the bigger the problems, and generally Monday there'll be a few issues, whether it be some staffing issues or might be a rental complaint. Um, so generally my Monday is made up of running around trying to settle the office or get some clarity um, so we can have a decent week. I really hate this office. It's a really scummy looking office. I'll show you it. Like this is the office. But believe it or not, we actually own, we actually own, we own the office next door, but we can't move in till October, because he's a tenant. So, wasn't my greatest idea to put a tenant in there for two years, so that ends in October. So when that ends, we're gonna smash this wall here, all gets smashed open all get smashed open and then we're going to do a full renovation. They've still got that staff feeling but you know you've only got three seconds for them to, to make the attachment Because it's a pretty scummy looking office and we can't even fit in here. So I feel a little bit embarrassed but we just got to wait till October and look at least we own the place we're not paying rent on it so that's good. I'm just heading to the East Geelong office I don't spend a lot of time there because Stacy works there my partner so I try and stay over here because we live together we don't want to be working together but I employed a friend, Adam, um, who's a good friend of mine, 20 years, and I didn't want to employ him because I was really scared of it not working out and me maybe having to get rid of him. So he's employed under Stacy, so I hardly see him, just to give him breathing space to show us what he can do. And um, he's really struggled the last sort of couple of months, but the last month he's really starting to find his feet and he's listed a few properties, which is good. One at nearly $2 million, so I'm gonna go and say g'day to him. He's a really good guy, and he's got an amazing work ethic, and I'll just say this. Regardless about someone's performance, if they're working their ass off, you're never ever gonna get terminated in Hayes Winkle. Let me assure you of that, because I've never met anyone that works their ass off that eventually is not successful. If you have a never die, never fail attitude, how the hell can you not be successful in real estate? I mean, this shit ain't, this ain't rocket science. For fuck's sake. Yeah, mate. Oh, no, nah, it's you've just got to try and I'd get the Phantom 4 Pro. So, so I would just, um, yeah, Google who sells Phantom 4 Pro and launch it, start ringing around Harvey Norman, JB Hi Fi, see if they've got one in. Yeah. Well, I'd get one with the screen. So, you're looking, you want one with the screen, so it comes, uh, so about 3,000, about 3,200. Okay mate, bye buddy, bye. Unreal. Hey, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Okay, go ahead. Real estate questions. Oh shit. How long have you been with us for? Uh, it would be 10, 11 weeks. So three months? Yep, a bit under. How have you found it, be honest? It's like I've joined the major leagues. Uh, I was with a good company before, but it's just everything's ramped up. Intensity, number of buyers, everything. Um, 
um, and that's where I want to be anyway. So I'm loving it. Have you found it hard? Look, some aspects. Um, it's been strange being in a small office, um, but I was in a fairly small office before, but it's just a different vibe altogether, so it's really sort of raising the, the um, performance level. So that's what I'm trying to do. But yeah, I love it. Do you feel it's competitive? Shit, yeah. What else can I tell you? Uh, yeah. got, but listen, let's be clear. Your first couple of months, you found it really hard. I know you did. You were struggling a bit. You've, well, you, you've listed a few now, so you've yeah. got a few runs on the board, which yeah. is good. Initially, what? I thought I'd be bringing some across with me, mm. and they haven't matured, so they put a lot of pressure on. So what went through your head for those two months where you were just working your ass off? Mm. No, you were working. You were working really hard, yeah. and you wasn't. Nothing was really Happening. translating into yeah. anything. Well, I just felt I needed more time yeah. because I, I believe in the. The process. Yeah. I know that if I'm out there making a certain amount of prospecting calls every day or or door knocks, that I'm going to come across by uh, sellers. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. So I've just started working those areas. Yep. So it takes a little time for for you know that work to show results. Pay dividends. Yeah, definitely. Yep. So you know I'm 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 very confident about the process, um, but I just felt a lot of pressure to to d deliver results really early on, so that got really uncomfortable. Is Stacey hard work? No, Stacey's just very particular and, and very intense and likes to do th things a certain way. Um, I think she's absolutely amazing at the job. All That's right. right. That's good, Adam. Good job. All right. Well done. <laughs> um, where is everyone? Uh, I think Stacey and Sean are out doing valuations. Yeah. And, but, I, but I just want you to find your feet, you know what I mean, for the yeah. first six months, 12 months. So and, what are you going to... No, no, no. I just, one is I've been super busy, mm. but you're in the business. I just don't want to bust your balls, you know what I'm saying? So I'm staying away from no, you. No, Stacey's doing enough. I'd rather, I'd rather predict... Yeah. Stacey's doing enough for both of you. <laughs> I'd rather... I didn't say that. She's a fucking ball buster. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just saying, I hope we get the appraisal. Hope we get the listing on the property that we just appraised out at Leopold. Who'd you go with? Stacey. And what else? Really good. And just got a listing on my own. Really? So I'm stoked. Yeah. Another one? Yeah, another one. How'd you get that? Uh, Stacey and I appraised it when I first started, six or seven months ago, yeah. and knew that they were a little way off because they're doing owner build up. So he, she messaged me last night and said that she wants us to come out and sign paperwork and everything and get it on the market. Has your follow up been meticulous? Have you stayed on yes, it? Yes, certainly have. All the time? Yep, all the time. You guys are killing it. Yeah. How many have you listed for the month? Um, what have just, we got? No, no, just over exaggerated. Every, uh, every oh, other real okay. estate agent yeah. does in Australia. So we're, just we're, we've listed four this month. No, no, say 41. 41, okay. You've listed 41. Yeah, listed 41. Awesome, on fire. awesome. No, I just wanted you to be Going like every other amazing. agent. 41. And how many of you guys sold? Um, we've sold 20, 25. No, we should say more than that. 47. We? 47. It's 47. You sold 47. I sold six this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going really healthy. Got avocado. Homemade mayo, ham. Why are you eating healthy? I'm trying because I'm fat at the moment. I feel like a fat. I don't think you're fat. Oh, I think I am. I think you're perfect. Oh, thanks. Oh, right, right in front of my face. You can just edit that bit out, thanks. It's funny seeing Adam and knowing what he's actually going through at the moment um, takes me back to my first year and I never want to do my first year of real estate again, even though it was fun. Um, you worked, man, I worked, you know, 80, 100 hour weeks all the time and it pays dividends eventually, but it requires discipline and you've got to dig deep. You've got to understand that your second year in real estate is going to be a lot easier than your first and your third year is going to be a lot easier than your number two and it should snowball. If you're on the right trajectory, if you're getting the right training, your career should snowball every year. This thing isn't about what you do in a week, it's not about what you do in a month, it's year by year. So whatever Adam did in 2016 will pay dividends in 2017. It's not, I've got no listings, I better panic and start prospecting, it ain't about that. This is about, and I'll, I'll use reference to Tom Panos again, it's, it is about the long game. I love that reference that, that Tom uses all the time. Playing the long game. There's no quick fix in real estate. There's no magic, there's no secret script, there's no magical elixir that you rub all over your body and, and you, you get more listings from it. It's just hard fucking work, it's that simple. My name's Daniel Hayes, thanks for watching Million Dollar Bogan Australia. So make sure you click the button right here. I'm gonna go.